Hi, uh, Aaron again. And today in class I was asked how to make a, well, actually I was asked two weeks ago and I'm just now getting back to him. Um, I was asked how to make a object orbit around another using the, you know, around, you know, a circular motion. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to make a, <coughs> a circle to start things off. I've already picked from the swatch panel this gradient red. I'm going to put the stroke at none and my gradient I used that one. Okay. So I'm going to make my circle and it is I I worked in the I'm just going to group that uh, uh command G. <laughs> I'll group it. All right. Now I'm going to make a box. All right. And the box it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep it the same because I'm going to make it a symbol, convert to symbol, and I'm just going to call this box. And the reason I'm making it a symbol is so I can give it, reduce the alpha or the opacity to zero. Okay. So when I click on that, I can scale that up and down in the properties panel. So now the alpha on this thing is zero, and I can group these. Okay. So now they are grouped, but if I go to the... Um, free transform tool you notice the ax the spinning axis is in the middle okay so what this is sort of a fake <laughs> motion between I mean a fake uh, or well it works so I guess it doesn't matter how you do it all right so I'm just gonna come here create motion tween uh, the tween section can be converted to a symbol okay we're gonna allow it to convert it to a symbol that's you know, we can call this orbit or bit all right, and then I'm just going to move this over here, and when I add rotate, I'm just going to add two rotations over in the properties panel, and now it should hit enter, and that keyframe appeared, and now that should rotate. Okay, so we have our orbiting uh, object. Okay, that's way number one. That's the procedure number one. Procedure number two, I'm just going to remove all my... Shift 5, remove all my frames. Shift F5, sorry. And I'm going to delete that. And we're going to do this again. All right. Delete this layer. Okay. So <coughs> I'm going to just come out to F, hit F5 out in frame 50. I'm going to drag the ball to the, to the, uh, whoa, that's the wrong one. That's the orbit. Undo that. I'm just going to delete this orbit. I don't need that anymore. All we need is the bo box. <laughs> All right, I've grouped the ball. I'm going to delete that too. Um, I'm going to make a ball. Remove this tween. All right, make a ball here. All right, so now we have our ball. Um, and uh, so I want this to, to rotate. So I'm just going to convert this to a symbol because okay, ball in order to add the motion tween I need it to be a symbol okay so I'm gonna add a create a motion tween alright so I'm gonna just bring this here and actually I wanna go with a nice even number so I can I don't have to figure out any complicated math so I'm gonna stick with go to 60 okay so I'm going to um, go to frame 60 and I'm just gonna nudge this over ever so slightly okay I if you zoomed in okay you can see that tween it, it has moved over okay very slightly and the reason I want it very so slight ver a very slight uh, nudge is because um, I want the intersection that's gonna be the gap between the beginning and the end and I want that gap to be very slight, slight so you can't see so it will appear that it's making a full circle where it's actually not okay so I have 60 frames so I'm gonna go to frame 30 and then I'm gonna drag this down here and that is giving me motion tween it's adjusting my motion tween so you can see the line I'm gonna, I'll play that it's gonna drop down and go back up but it's not going straight up it's it still has that little gap right here so then I'm gonna go over to 45 which is the halfway point here again and I'm gonna pull this over here okay and then I'm going to go to the halfway point over here 15 and I'm gonna pull it to the left so I'm basically gonna make a, a box and once I get the I'm just 
adjusting to make this box just right. And once my box is done, now I'm going to come back and you see, and if I hover over, I get that little, that little curl there, which is telling me that I can curve this, this uh, motion tween line. Okay, so I can just pull that out. Now I'll move over here, hover over, get that line, pull that out. Just sort of pull that out. And then pull this one out. Hang on. I don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> I should be doing this from a nice... Why is this not working? All right. Let's try this again. All right. I'm going to just start from the center where we don't have a ball. What? I think maybe uh, my lines are too close ah, and they've intersected. That's the problem. Okay. All right. So hopefully this, sh this should work now that my lines are not intersecting. And I still seem to be having some problems. Hmm. That is interesting. I'll do this again. Delete. I'll make a new layer. Click on this layer. Delete. Delete. All right. Now we're going to try this again. Drag it out, the ball, onto the layer. All right. There is no tween here. Okay. I'm going to right click, create motion tween. All right. Now I'm going to drag, come to the middle. Oh, first I got to go to the end. And I'm going to give it a little bit more space this time. All right. Now I'm going to go to the middle, hit 30, pull down. Now I have my, my V. And you can see it's bouncing. Okay. And now I'm going to go to my quarter mark. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. I pulled to the wrong side. Okay. Because it's coming down this way. And this is this should go right. And I should have gone to the other. I, yeah. That's why it became a, a jumbled mess. Because I crisscrossed my lines. Okay. All right, so now let's see. It should be going around in a square. Okay, and now these lines should behave properly. There we go. That was the problem is I crisscrossed my lines. Okay, so now at this point I can pull them a little bit closer. There we go. Now I can test it, and it should orbit. There we go. One orbiting ball. All right, now the last way we're going to do this is I'm going to just add a new <coughs> a new layer, and then I'm going to just delete this layer. All right, and I'm going to drag the ball onto the stage, and this time I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to do this with a classic tween. Um, first, I'm going to add a stroke. doesn't matter what color it is. I'll make it a nice blue, and the fill I'm going to change to none. Over here in the properties panel, none. All right. <coughs> okay. So now I'm going to draw a circle. Okay. And I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna put this ball on another layer. I'm gonna cut that. I'll make a new layer just for now, and I'm gonna paste it. All right. But actually, it's in my way. All right. <coughs> okay. So this line, I, I want. I still need that break so I can attach everything. So I'm gonna get the eraser. And I'm just going to swipe right down the middle. Now I can use this to make this a guide. Okay. So I'm going to click on this layer. And okay, this is my, uh, this is going to be my guide. Okay. So I just changed the name, double clicked and hit enter after I typed it. Now I'm going to double click on this box here where on the layer, this little box on the layer. And now it opens up my layer properties. And I'm going to click on where it says, okay, normal mass folder guide. I'll click on guide and hit OK. Now you can see it changed to a T square. I'm going to OK. So now this is changed to a T square, but now I'm going to I'm going to name my ball layer ball, and I'm going to drag that inside of this this uh, layer. And you can see how when it's up here, it's to the left, and when I drag it down here, it kicks to the right. So when it's on the right, it's inside. See if I nudge nudge back and forth, it's outside, inside, outside, inside. And when I let go that guide is going to change. Okay? So you see that little T square now changed to this line that um 
you give it showing you that this is going to track along this 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 line it's going to work as a guide okay so now i take my ball and i need to first make sure uh snapping is on uh where's snapping i'm going to go to the help just to speed things up snapping and let help tell me where it is okay it's under view snapping and we want snap to objects okay so i'm going to hit okay all right so for this one i'm going to right click and you see it will not now that this is in here it will not let me make a regular motion tween it will only let me make a classic tween okay all right so there's classic tween so now i'm going to go over to the end and the way you make a classic tween you have to hit a keyframe and then you go to the other end and hit f i'm going to hit f6 and make another keyframe so there's a keyframe i entered keyframe there you see the the keyframes look a little bit different than they do in the regular motion tween Okay, so this is going to be my starting point. So I'm going to take this ball and drop it right here on this point. You see how it, since snapping is on, it snaps into place. All right. And then I'm going to go out here to the end, and I'm going to take that ball and lock it on the other end. You can see again, it just sort of snaps into place. All right. And now when I scrub through, it rotates. All right. So, boom. Rotating ball number three. All right. And... With the uh, motion tween, I could do this. And the regular motion tween, I could just move it to the center and expand it. But if since I'm doing this with a classic tween, I have to click here and hit F6 to insert a keyframe. And then I can enlarge this by using the, the um, free transform tool and it do that. And now it looks like that ball is getting larger and smaller. All right. And that's it. Bye.